hi what's up guys so today we're going to continue our locomotion system and we're going to integrate meta humans so i wanted to show you my character so that you can see my body proportions i'm using the average size which fits the ua5 skeleton perfectly okay uh that's it now let's go to the engine i will advise you to create a duplicate of this project and integrate this on that duplicated project okay so um let's import the meta human okay add quixel content okay i'm going to use that one now enable all the missing plugins and before you close let's go to settings plugins and search for alembic groom this one check it and restart this will uh, make sure the hair will show up on package builds, okay? Okay, we can uh, close all of this. Now, um, I'm going to show you multiple methods and you decide which one you want. Um, the first one is the one that works with this uh, body types, which works perfectly. The other ones are for shorter or taller characters, okay? So let's go to the third person blueprints and create a child blueprint of your character like this. Now call it BP meta human. Open it up. Now find the meta human that you imported. Open it up. And select all the parts here. Uh, copy them and go to the meta human and paste it here okay now select the body drag to the mesh and now reset both of these values like this now let's go to construction script and right here we're going to say set master pose to the body in the new engine versions this should be set leader pose okay now we can grab all the body parts right here and connect them to the target okay like this now we can grab the mesh and connect it right here now if we compile you can see that now we are using the animations uh, now we can go to the mesh search for viz and uncheck visible and right here we're going to say always tick pose and refresh bones like this compile save and that's it. Now I'm only going to remove these flip-flops right here from the character and that's it. Now we can uh, test this out. So if we close this and on the game mode, we select the meta human right here, hit play. And as you can see, everything should be working. The animations are all working fine. And that's it. This is how you can uh, use the first methods. So as you can see, the character is not distorted everything is working fine okay now uh, i'm going to show you the other methods so i would only use these methods on npcs because they have problems that need to be fixed constantly and i wouldn't use them okay i would only use them to uh, talk with them on the game or something but that's it now let's go to the third person blueprints and right here we're going to create another child blueprint of our character bp meta human uh, 2 okay open it up now i'm going to get more characters so let's go to the quixel content i'm going to get this one which has a short body okay and I'm also going to get uh, this one, which has a short body, okay? Um, now we can close this and we can find our meta human that we imported. I'm going to use this one first, open it up, select all the body parts like this, copy, paste them here, select the body, drag to the mesh reset the values and go to the construction script set master pose 
Um, now we can grab the body parts again, right here, and connect to the targets like this. <clears throat> now grab the mesh and connect right here. Now, uh, you'll notice the height of our character. So when we compile, you can see that uh, she is now matching the entire character, okay? Uh, if we hide the mesh, we can see that this does not look good. So I'm going to hide this and select this. As you can see, um, the character was stretched to fit the original character, okay? And it might look good on some characters, but uh, if you don't want this, if you want to use uh, the short character, okay, we can change things here, okay? Now, uh, the first thing, we're going to go to the construction script and break this link, okay? Now, you can see the difference. Uh, we're going to go to the body right here, and on the animation class, we're going to set this to <clears throat> RTG MetaHuman. Okay, like this. Now you can see the clothes are not fitting, so we can go back to the construction script and we can delete the mesh from here, drag the body over here, break this link, connect right here, and connect this back. Okay, now if we compile, the clothes should be okay. Now we have these arm problems because she's trying to put the hands in the same place as our third person character. Okay, and we don't want that. That's why I would only use this for NPCs. So uh, we can go to the body and the animation blueprints. We can follow it right here. We can open it up. And on the animation graph, we can select this node right here. And right here, we're going to change this to UA5, UA4 menu. Now compile save. We can follow this again as well. Open it up. And right here, we're going to change the retargeter to IK Meta Human, like this. And we're going to change this to retarget IK to false. Okay. Now, if we save everything and we compile, she should be using the animations correctly. Okay. So we can test this out as well. I'm only going to save my third person character because I have a bug in my engine. And that's it. Um, now we can go to the gameplay and select our character and hit play. And as you can see, everything is working. I can also uh, show you the difference in height. For example, if we drag our um, larger character right here, I can uh, go over here and show you that I'm using a shorter character. Okay. And everything is working fine. So we can use all the animations, we can use uh, our aim offsets as well. But one thing you'll notice is that since we are shorter, our aim doesn't fit our character. So if you wanted to make these characters playable, you would need to go to the blueprints and on the camera, we would lower the camera to like 48. Okay. Now, if we compile and save and hit play, you can see that it should be about on the right position. Okay, um, that's basically it. Um, you can uh, now play with these short characters. Okay, now I'm going to teach you the other method, which is pretty simple as well, but um, it's very hard on performance because you can keep all the functionality inside the actor blueprint. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Let's go to um, our characters here. Let's create another child blueprint and call it BP Meta Human 3. Okay, open it up. Now get the Meta Human you imported. I'm going to use this one. Now we can grab the blueprint directly here. We can drag this to the mesh, reset both positions right here. And now we can go to child actor templates, live retargets, and select the RTG meta human. Okay. As you can see, now she's using the animations as well. Now we can go here and set this to invisible and select this one. And that's it. Now we can also use this character. So if we select it here, 
meta human tree as you can see everything is working we can still use all the animations and you can see the difference in height um and that's it this is how you can um, use uh different meta humans in your game and i hope you liked it i hope you learned something with it so don't forget to subscribe